Belinda Gothenburg trying to reach another CHL semifinal. It would be their sixth at the seventh time of asking. A three goal aggregate lead on Lexans from the first leg in Central Sweden last week. But Lexans came out fighting and they scored the game's first goal. A tip at the side of the net by Mikkel Ruohoma off the shot from Matt Cato beating Matt Tompkins, the Canadian netminder for Forlunda, 1-0 for the visitors. Mikhail Spacek at the other end denied by Axel Braga to keep Lexans within two goals on aggregate. But Forlunda on the power play, Elmer Suterblom, the puck slid across to Ryan Lash, who else? Tap in into an empty net. Forlunda, 1-1 on the night. Now leading 6-3 on aggregate. Lash's 32nd career CHL goal. Tompkins called into action there on a tough chance from Ruohoma, looking for his second of the night. Lexans out shooting for Linda throughout this game, but only 1-1 on the scoreboard after one. Into the second period, Spacek again. Lash looking for the helper, but Braga's toe in the way. At the other end, Alexander Lundqvist set up by Justin Kloos in the top scorer's jersey. No dice there. But later in the period, on a delayed penalty, Patrick Norain banging the puck past Tompkins to restore Lexan's lead on the night. Back within two on aggregate. At the other end, Nicholas Lasso in all alone, but Braga making the right pad save. Lexan's then giveaway for a shorthanded chance and goal by Max Freeberg. That a dagger for Lexan's chances. Freeberg making it 2-2 after two on the night. Third period, the goal post hit by Söderblom. Looking for his sixth knockout stage goal this season. Lexan's looking to pounce. Martin Carlson feeding Niels Oman. Lexan back in front on the night. Could they somehow complete the comeback? Great work by Carlson to glove the puck down and find Oman. Perlunda would keep coming forward despite being outshot 44-21 in the game. Here, they got the puck into the net through Linus Nesayan, but on video review, watch Johan Sundstrom in the blue paint, just impeding Braga enough to cause the referees to rule that goal out. So Lexan's still alive. They would pull Axel Braga, but they couldn't make anything happen. And then after a very late penalty and even later goal, Söderblom the tip in from Lash. Forlunda does make it through to the CHL semifinals, but not before a valiant effort by Lexans.